This tutorial is going to show the new physics uh, tools found in 3D Studio Max 2011 Service Pack 1 and also they're available more extensively in upcoming release of 3D Studio Max 2012. Uh, I have a basic scene here just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I set up a sphere a little bowling alley and a bowling pin at the end, just a basic cylinder, just to show you how these physics work. There's three different types of rigid bodies that we want to keep in mind. Um, oh, and this sphere has a basic animation on it that's generated using regular keyframing in 3D Studio Max. So when we look at the different rigid bodies, there's this is the create rigid body button, and there's dynamic rigid bodies, kinematic rigid bodies, and static rigid bodies. So this scene uses all three of those. Uh, the bowling pin, we want to make a dynamic rigid body, which means that it reacts to other rigid bodies colliding with it. And to do that, you just select it, drop down to create dynamic rigid body. We want to select the ball now and make that create kinematic rigid body, which means that it is a rigid body, so it can react with this bowling pin, but it's getting its movement from the keyframes in Max. And then finally we want the floor or the bowling alley to be a static rigid body, which means it reacts with these other objects, but it doesn't move. It's just static. So, we created all those. You can go into each one of these. And put, it adds it in the modifier stack, so you can go in and change the properties of them. Um, I'll use this pin as an example. We'll just put it as a preset of rubber. But obviously, you can go in and uh, adjust all the settings of all the physical properties of that object so that it can react differently. Let's uh, take, make a few more pins here. Copy this one around. Just something simple. Nothing fancy. And a few more. Okay. That should do it see here. So, when we've got our scene set up how we think we want it, let's see if I did this right. Hit start simulation. Let's go to our camera view. Takes a second. And there you go. Have some cool bowling pins falling off the edge there. But anyway, you can see how easy that is to set up and how cool the the final effects can be. I mean, the, obviously this is a very simple scene, but uh, it shows you kind of the, the power of these physics tools. This resets the simulation. Um, there's also materials here you can put on to, to these different objects. Um, there's pre-built in, there's uh, preset materials. Here's the rubber. That's that's the preset we assigned to these. There's these other materials. shows the density, friction, and bounciness of these different objects. So you can use materials there. Um, like I said, that resets the simulation. Let's see it one more time. Calculate. And it calculates surprisingly fast. It's extremely easy to set up. And you get a good end result.